Um, yeah, and I think, yeah, so this is, should be easier because it only uh, points you to two sections instead of the entire chapter. Um, yeah, and this is sort of what I was saying earlier. If any one part of a statement is wrong, then the whole thing is wrong. Um, so uh, let me go through this uh, since, um, again, uh, there's many choices and um, I do hope you get uh, through your reading um, the, the sense of what's correct, what's something that I'm making up. <laughs> um, um, and, but I don't, uh, my goal here is, here, here is for you to learn not to be frustrated. So, so uh, let me just start with the uh, first one. So it's a, uh, um, it comes down to, you know, which statements are true. You know, correct to compare or contrast the current atmospheres to the three planets in terms of composition, thickness, pressure at the surface, and the greenhouse effect. So, okay. And the first statement, as I was saying, it's wrong. We've landed on Venus. It, they just didn't last long for the combination of an acidic atmosphere and the high temperature. So uh, when they were designing those crafts, they knew they wouldn't uh, last uh, all that long. Okay, although the composition of um, com similar to the composition of Amazon Mars, the thickness is much greater and results in a very different illustration. Yeah, um, Venus uh, illustrates what we call runaway greenhouse effect. And that's something that sometimes people worry about happening with the Earth, not in um, like in a serious way, but in a way that that's not a, a zero percent likelihood event that if we don't uh, take care of our environment and keep our human uh, CO2 emission levels down, then at some point it could potentially flip over. Uh, we don't know what level at which that would happen. The amount of CO2 that's in the uh, Venus atmosphere is way different from Earth. But yeah, uh, or Venus illustrates a runaway greenhouse effect that hasn't happened on Earth and hopefully will never happen. And those also not happen on Mars. Um, the bathroom can be explained by different origin. No, uh, we don't. We think the stuff that makes up these uh, terrestrial planets are more or less the same. And the initial beginning of the atmosphere are also more or less the same, outguessing of chemical. Uh, um, so in the initial formation, because of the high temperature, the volatile compounds would have all been um, blown away. But um, after the planets formed, cooled a little bit, um, the rocks uh, with the volcanic eruptions, there should have been some outgassing. And Earth might have initially had a very carbon dioxide rich atmosphere. And um, uh, nitrogen is relatively um, inert. So maybe that could have um, remained if we, there was an outgassing of nitrogen, but oxygen definitely, it needs a maintenance by some active thing, living organisms. So, um, so not different origins, but you know, Earth is life. That's really the biggest difference. Now, as a result of being the only planet that was able to, yeah, it, this statement got cause and uh, effect backward. Uh, Earth, uh, doesn't have life because of oxygen. Earth has oxygen because of life on Earth. And I think, uh, so I'm not a biologist, I can't tell you, but I think uh, uh, if, if what I'm remembering is right, we do think earliest life forms on Earth didn't um, rely on oxygen for me its metabolism because something had to first produce oxygen. Okay, both the atmosphere of Venus and Mars are composed of, yeah, greater than 95% of carbon dioxide and their effects are measured by the, Wrong. Um, so for Mars, because it has such a thin atmosphere, the greenhouse effect on Mars is practically negligible. Um, Mars is cold, uh, both because it's far away from the sun and the greenhouse effect from its CO2 atmosphere is kind of low. Uh, without the greenhouse effect of uh, carbon dioxide on Mars, the surface temperature of Earth is likely to be below freezing for most areas of Earth. Oh, that's a tricky one. Tricky because um, it is true that greenhouse effect is 
um, necessary for Earth to be above freezing. Uh, like you can do in uh, like physics 4B, we do this simple estimate based on uh, black body uh, radiation and absorption. And um, now it's not necessarily carbon dioxide, it's the, just the whole atmosphere. Uh, if I had to guess, I would uh, go with it because uh, it is true that without the greenhouse effect of the atmos atmosphere on Earth, of which CO2 is a significant component, the surface temperature of Earth would be much lower to uh, be below freezing. The runaway greenhouse effect that I was talking about uh, leads to more release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, characterization explains, so, yeah. That's uh, exactly uh, why the surface of Venus is so hot. It's much, much hotter than um, um, that it would have been without uh, its atmosphere. The atmosphere of Mars contains a much greater percentage in Um, yeah, I guess that's right. Uh, Mars, uh, you know, 95% carbon dioxide, but it, it um, there isn't as much. So I think that's right. Let's see, uh, I could have gotten one or two wrong. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess not. <laughs>